Hello again, here's another update on what's been going on with the car for the past couple months. I think we'll uh, just start from the back and work our way forward. So the rear trunk area has been set in. It ended up needing to be two pieces just because the way it comes in with the frame here, having to fit in like that, you can't really bend one single piece and lay it in so you had to I had to cut it right there and then lay one side in and get the other still some trimming to do right here to make sure it you know get it further in and actually meeting up uh to the rear section right there next we'll be closing these off uh might might make that removable so you can actually get to the bolt in there instead of having to get your hand up under the axle uh but that's coming in to shape this, this panel right here that comes out to match the way the cage comes further out than the frame. Uh, both of those are in place. And then this rear panel right here that separates the wheel well from the interior has been made. It's got a flange on the top, comes down, and then another flange on the bottom. And I'm thinking it'll kind of act as a C channel running along the frame just by being a, uh, you know, we got a 18 gauge plate right here, it comes up another plate and then comes down and then a little bit on the bottom there to uh, help keep it rigid. It, that was kind of the theory. I'm, I'm not sure if it'll actually function like that, but either way, it's, it's main purpose is keep the wheel from not being the interior and, uh, it's it's working okay for that. It'll also help tie this whole panel together because it's holding the uh, the fender here on both sides. Uh, still some trimming to do because it sticks up a little bit more than the uh, than the rest of the body. But overall, that's pretty good progress for the trunk. And then uh, yeah, the roof right here has I finally trimmed all that because I've I've had this guy sitting up here for a while but it's trimmed and tacked in place the roof is located uh, where it's supposed to be on the frame uh, I got beam or not a beam but a, a panel to help tie the the roof to the the cage so it welds in like that. I, I haven't welded it fully along there, just tacked it in place in case anything needs to move, but that's in place. The rear section still just welded to the wireframe buck. So this, the bottom of the B pillar can move back and forth, but height wise from the frame up to the top of the B pillar is the same on both sides. So I know I've got that even. And then, uh, working on the C pillar, uh, trying to get the rear section of the body somewhat uh, shaped in and you know I've, I've had this open in the back for quite a while now trying to figure out where the tail lights need to go and all that jazz but the first step is get the roof located and start building it out and so here I, I don't have my bead roller uh, it's at work so this has been built into several pieces there's the inner panel which I, I cut, it helped, helps make me see the, see the shape of how this is going to go, but it'll also, on the interior, it'll help close off everything instead of, you know, having an open structure. Here, it's a channel that's been bent, so this is an L shape that's been uh, shrunk with a stretcher, vice versa. Um, that, then a panel welded over that to match this shape, match the inset, and then the inner panel matches the, uh, the part where the window would normally, uh, the, where the rubber would go. So the next step for this is to have the rain gutter follow that. I might straighten it out a little bit here, but have the rain gutter follow that, get this rounded shape, bring that down, hopefully the same panel as the rain gutter so it's not like 18 pieces to get that back. But 
one more basically uh, rain channel down to here and another L shape to match the window down because uh, the, the old window outline is now I'm thinking will be the the hatch will sit in there because it's it's not the original shape anymore so if I get those panels made then I will have the outline for the hatch to finish building that and the C pillar will be finished so those panels are vaguely in place waiting for the next I cut out the exact same parts uh, for I made them both at the same time to, to hopefully ensure that they're symmetrical yeah you can get an idea so moving on the interior has been going pretty well I've been focusing on the firewall so all the stuff I've showed previously I've tried to weld that in place I finally closed off this upper section here and uh, the trans tunnel is, is covered all the way. I ran the e-brake cables through uh, just a Willwood universal set and uh, seat mounts are actually welded in place. Seat belt, uh, the mounts basically are, are welded in place. So the seats are ready to go. Uh, all that's pretty much good. This needs welding and then uh, there's a panel here that'll show on the other side that's pretty much the final part of the firewall. Uh, and not much going on with the front. Been trying to fix up what was going on here and that's been going okay. The, the grill, the grill has been made but uh, I made a mistake over here so this side follows the wireframe buck and this side doesn't uh, and turns out this side looks better so I'm just gonna have to cut that up and make a match uh, a little bit more work going on right here uh, it's not really worth mentioning it's it's just uh, the, the panel wasn't clean enough so I need to reshape the part and make it match the other side for this, this is the last piece of the firewall. Comes along here, and then this has a flanged end to seal against the door. So going in, it needs some adjustment to make sure the gap is, is proper through there. And I'm not sure what, uh, what actual rubber is gonna fit, but that's the last panel. And I, I have the copy for the other side. Uh, the door is both the passenger door is also has been fit and all the hinges are on there and ready to go hoping to tidy up the pedals get them actually functional I mean they function but I'd like them to be a lot stronger and reinforcement for this whole system uh, just for safety the throttle cable is finally mounted it has been well over two years since trying to get that system up and running, but ended up spacing the pedal off the firewall a couple inches to bring it in line with everything else. It doesn't really show up, but anyway. That's um, getting squared away. And uh, those are the main things, mostly trying to make the car at least somewhat drivable, so that's closing off the firewall, closing off the wheel wells, trying to get the trunk and rear section of the body roughed in and uh, making the, the pedals and the seat and that, that system safe and not just functional, but actually safe and, and drivable for the rest of the car's life. It's, uh, it's been going okay. Still probably several years worth of work to do, but there it is.